Whifflin on a first round pick can set a team back many years. Nailing the first pick can do wonders for a team as many great players have been selected in the first round of the NFL draft since the turn of the century. But because of when and where they are selected stand out as the absolute best. But before we start, I see that 98.1% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you could, like and subscribe for more awesome videos, it would help the channel out and as well as share the video. And with that being said, enjoy the show. Starting things off from the 2000 NFL Draft, Brian Urlacher. Selected 9th overall by the Chicago Bears, Urlacher quickly established himself as one of the NFL's most productive defensive players, winning the NFL Rookie of the Year award in 2000. During his NFL career, Urlacher was selected to 8 Pro Bowls, recognized as a first team All-Pro 4 times and won the NFL Defensive Player of the Year award in 2005. His playing style, accomplishments, and reputation made him one of the Bears' most popular players. After spending 12 seasons with the Chicago Bears, Urlacher would retire in 2012 and would be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2018. Next, from the 2001 NFL Draft, LaDamian Tomlinson. Selected 5th overall by the San Diego Chargers, Tomlinson would spend 9 seasons with the Chargers, earning 5 Pro Bowl appearances, 3 first team All-Pro nominations, and 2 NFL Russian titles. Tomlinson was also named the NFL MVP in 2006 after breaking the record for touchdowns in a single season in which he had 31. He would play two more seasons with the New York Jets before retiring in 2011 and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2017. Next, from the 2002 NFL Draft, Ed Reed. Selected 24th overall by the Baltimore Ravens, Ed Reed would play 11 seasons with the Baltimore Ravens before playing with the Houston Texans and the New York Jets in 2013. During his NFL career, Ed Reed was a 9-time Pro Bowler, an 8-time All-Pro, a Defensive Player of the Year award winner in 2004, and also a Super Bowl champion in 2012. He also has an NFL record for the two longest interception returns with 106 yards in 2004 and 107 yards in 2008. He also holds the all-time NFL record for interception return yards with 1,590 in postseason interceptions 9 and is tied with three other players for that record. At the time of his retirement, his 64 regular season interceptions ranked him 6th on the NFL's all-time leader list. Reed is considered to be one of the greatest safeties in NFL history and was often referred as a ball hog during his prime. Reed would be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2019. Next, from the 2003 NFL Draft, Troy Palomalo. Selected 16th overall by the Pittsburgh Steelers, he spent his entire 12-year NFL career with the Pittsburgh Steelers, in which he is a two-time Super Bowl champion, the 2010 Defensive Player of the Year, an eight-time Pro Bowler, and a six-time All-Pro. Palomalo is commonly considered as one of the greatest safeties in NFL history and is credited with playing a key role in the Steelers' success during the 2000s. Palomalo would be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2012. 20. Next, from the 2004 NFL Draft, Eli Manning. Selected first overall by the Chargers, Manning would later be traded to the New York Giants for Phillip Rivers. Manning is recognized for twice leading the New York Giants to underdog Super Bowl victories against the New England Patriots dynasty in Super Bowl 42 and again in Super Bowl 46. The former which saw the wildcard Giants defeat a Patriots team that was the first team to win all 16 regular season games is regarded as one of the greatest sports upsets of all time. Manning Manning was named Super Bowl MVP in both championships, making him one of six players to have multiple Super Bowl MVP awards in NFL history. As the Giants' starting quarterback from 2004 to 2019, Manning holds the Giants' records for passing yards, touchdown passes, and completions. Never missing a game due to injury, he started 210 consecutive games from 2004 to 2017, the third longest consecutive starts by an NFL quarterback. The four-time Pro Bowler ranks 10th all-time in passing yards and 10th all-time in touchdowns. 
Next, on the 2005 NFL Draft, Aaron Rodgers. Selected 24th overall by the Green Bay Packers, Rodgers is regarded amongst the greatest and most talented quarterbacks of all time. From 2005 to 2022, Rodgers was a member of the Green Bay Packers. After backing up Brett Favre for the first three seasons of his NFL career, Rodgers would become the Packers' starting quarterback in 2008. In 2010, Rodgers would lead the Packers to a Super Bowl victory, earning the Super Bowl MVP in the process. He is also a four-time NFL MVP and is also the fifth player in NFL history to win the NFL MVP in consecutive seasons joining Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, Joe Montana, and Jim Brown. Rodgers is also a 10-time Pro Bowler, a five-time All-Pro. In 2023, the Packers would trade Aaron Rodgers to the New York Jets after spending 17 seasons with the team and remains with the Jets to this day. Next, from the 2006 NFL Draft, Halati Nada. Selected 12th overall by the Baltimore Ravens, Nada is a Super Bowl champion, a 5-time All-Pro and a 5-time Pro Bowler and would play 9 seasons with the Baltimore Ravens before being traded to the Detroit Lions before the 2015 NFL season. Nada was also a member of the Philadelphia Eagles for one season in 2018 before retiring. Next, from the 2007 NFL Draft, Joe Thomas. Selected third overall by the Cleveland Browns, Joe Thomas is regarded as one of the greatest offensive linemen of all time. Thomas was invited to the Pro Bowl in each of his first 10 seasons and did not miss a single play in his career until the 2017 season which was his final season in the NFL. His 10,363 consecutive snaps played is the longest streak since the NFL began recording the snap streak in 1999. In 2023, Joe Thomas was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility becoming the first Cleveland Browns inductee since their reactivation in 1999 to be inducted. Next, from the 2008 NFL Draft, Matt Ryan. Selected second overall by the Atlanta Falcons, Matt Ryan immediately made an impact by taking the Falcons to the playoffs in his first season, earning him the Offensive Rookie of the Year. During his Falcons tenure, he led the team to six playoff appearances, three of which were division titles and received four Pro Bowl selections. His most successful season in his NFL career was in 2016 when he was named the MVP and would lead the Falcons to Super Bowl 51. Ryan would later be traded to the Indianapolis Colts in 2022 where he spent one season with the team. He would retire after that season. Next, from the 2009 NFL Draft, Matthew Stafford. Selected first overall by the Detroit Lions. As the Lions starting quarterback from 2009 to 2020, Stafford had a breakout season in 2011 in which he became the fourth quarterback in NFL history to have thrown more than over 5,000 yards in a single season, while also leading the Lions to their first playoff appearance since 1999. He also led the Lions to two third their playoff runs in 2014 and 2016, earning himself Pro Bowl honors during the former and sending an NFL record for most comeback wins in a ladder. After mutually agreeing to part ways with the Lions, Stafford would be traded to the Rams in 2021 and would lead them to a victory in Super Bowl 56 over the Cincinnati Bengals. Ranking in the top 12 all-time in passing attempts, pass completions, passing yards, and passing touchdowns, Stafford is currently fifth all-time in passing yards per game and is the fastest player in NFL history to have reached 40,000 career passing yards. Next, from the 2010 NFL Draft, Trent Williams. Selected fourth overall by Washington, Williams is considered one of the best tackles in the NFL having made 10 Pro Bowls and 3 All-Pro teams. In 2019, Williams held out the entire season with Washington due to valid and personal grievances regarding a cancerous growth on his head downplayed by the team and later determined by private doctors to be life-threatening. The standoff eventually led him being traded to the San Francisco 49ers in 2020. Next, from the 2011 NFL Draft, J.J. 
Watt, selected 11th overall by the Houston Texans, considered to be one of the greatest defensive linemen in NFL history, Watt received the Defensive Player of the Year award three times in his first five seasons in the NFL. Although primarily a defensive end, he occasionally shifted to defensive tackle. He occasionally took snaps on offense, catching three touchdown passes during the 2014 season. He holds the Texans franchise records for sacks and forced fumbles. He would spend 10 seasons with the Houston Texans before signing with the Arizona Cardinals in 2021 before the former All-Pro and Pro Bowler announced his retirement in 2023. Next, from the 2012 NFL Draft, Luke Keekley. Selected 9th overall by the Carolina Panthers, Keekley had an immediate impact during his rookie season as he led the NFL in tackles and won the 2012 NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year award, becoming the third youngest player in its history to win the award. In 2013, Keekley became the youngest player in NFL history to win the NFL Defensive Player of the Year award. The 7-time Pro Bowler and the 7-time All-Pro would retire in 2019 after spending eight seasons in the NFL. Next, from the 2013 NFL Draft, DeAndre Hopkins. Selected 27th overall by the Houston Texans, Hopkins is a five-time Pro Bowler and has been named to five All-Pro teams. Hopkins would spend eight seasons with the Houston Texans in which he had the most receiving yards in a single postseason with 208 in 2019, receptions in a season with 115 in 2018, receiving touchdowns in a season with 13 in 2017. In 2020, the Texans would trade DeAndre Hopkins to the Arizona Cardinals in which he spent three seasons there before signing with the Tennessee Titans in 2023. Next, from the 2014 NFL Draft, Aaron Donald. Selected 13th overall by the St. Louis Rams, Aaron Donald is regarded as one of the greatest defensive players of all time. He has been named Defensive Player of the Year a record three times tied with J.J. Watt and Lawrence Taylor. Along receiving Pro Bowl selections in all nine of his seasons played in seven first-team All-Pro honors. Donald was also a member of the Rams team that won Super Bowl 56 over the Cincinnati Bengals Next, from the 2015 NFL Draft, Amari Cooper. Selected 4th overall by the Oakland Raiders, after having successful rookie and sophomore seasons that included back-to-back 1,000-yard -back campaigns and two Pro Bowl appearances, Cooper struggled in his third season with the Raiders, totaling just 680 yards. Midway through the 2018 season, Cooper would be traded to the Dallas Cowboys and his play began to flourish again, including a 217-yard performance and as a result was voted to the third Pro Bowl of his NFL career. Cooper also had 1,000-yard seasons in both the the 2019 and 2020 seasons making the Pro Bowl in 2019. In 2022, Cooper would be traded from the Dallas Cowboys to the Cleveland Browns. Next, from the 2016 NFL Draft, Jalen Ramsey. Selected 5th overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars. While with the Jaguars, Ramsey quickly became one of the top corners in the NFL, making the Pro Bowl twice and being named All-Pro in 2017. In addition to helping the Jaguars snap a 10-year playoff drought, however, following a fallout and standoff with the Jaguars' front office, he would be traded to the Rams midway through the 2019 season. In 2020, he agreed to an extension with the Rams that made him the highest paid defensive back in NFL history at the time. While playing in Los Angeles, he would help the Rams win Super Bowl 56 over the Cincinnati Bengals. Ramsey wouldn't last in LA for that long as the Rams traded the six-time Pro Bowler and three-time All-Pro to the Miami Dolphins. Next, from the 2017 NFL Draft, Patrick Mahomes. Selected 10th overall by the Kansas City Chiefs. Before Mahomes was the Chiefs' starting quarterback in 2018, Mahomes spent his rookie season as the Chiefs' backup to Alex Smith. After Smith was traded to Washington, Mahomes would be lighting up the league ever since, leading the Chiefs to five consecutive AFC Championship game appearances from the 2018 through the 2022 season, which is tied for second place with Ken Stabler for the most consecutive conference championship games appearances by a QB. Mahomes' career accolades through six seasons in the NFL have earned him widespread praise from sports journalists and is considered to be one of the greatest QBs in NFL history. Mahomes is a two-time 
Super Bowl champion, a two-time MVP, two-time Super Bowl MVP, a three-time All-Pro, a five-time Pro Bowler, one of three players to throw 50 or more touchdowns in a season and over 5,000 yards thrown in a single season in which he accomplished that twice. And there will be many more to come. Next, from the 2018 NFL Draft, Josh Allen. Selected 7th overall by the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen had a breakout season in 2020 when he led the Buffalo Bills to their first division title in playoff victory since 1995, helping the Bills reach the AFC Championship game. Allen also set the Bills franchise records for single season passing yards with 4,544 and in total touchdowns with 46 while earning Pro Bowl and second team All-Pro honors. During his Buffalo tenure, he has led the Bills to a total of four playoff appearances, three consecutive division titles, and four playoff victories. Next, from the 2019 NFL Draft, Nick Boza. Selected second overall by the San Francisco 49ers, in his rookie season with the 49ers he would be named the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year and would help the San Francisco 49ers reach Super Bowl 54. In 2022, Boza would go on to win the NFL Defensive Player of the Year award. In 2023, the three-time Pro Bowler and the All-Pro Defensive Player signed a five-year $170 million contract extension, including a $122.5 million guaranteed making him the highest defensive paid player in NFL history. Next, from the 2020 NFL Draft, Justin Jefferson. Selected 22nd overall by the Minnesota Vikings, Jefferson has been named to the Pro Bowl and All-Pro team in each of his first three seasons in the NFL. In 2022, at the age of 23, Justin Jefferson became the youngest player in NFL history to lead the league in receptions with 128 and receiving yards with 1,809, earning him the Offensive Player of the Year honors and assuming the most receiving yards through a player's first three seasons, and if Jefferson keeps this up, he's very well on his way to a Hall of Fame career. Next, from the 2021 NFL Draft, Micah Parsons. Selected 12th overall by the Dallas Cowboys. In his rookie season, Parsons took the NFL by storm as he was unanimously named the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, in which he recorded 13 sacks in which that is a Cowboys rookie record and also finished second in Defensive Player of the Year voting, only losing to TJ Watt. The two-time Pro Bowler and All-Pro player has a bright future ahead of him. Next, from the 2022 NFL Draft, Sauce Gardner. Selected fourth overall by the New York Jets, Gardner was named the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year and was the first rookie cornerback since Ronnie Law in 1981 to be named first team All-Pro. Gardner has a bright future ahead of him. As for the 2023 NFL Draft, it's too early to tell and we will end things right here. Let me know in the comments section below on who I missed out on. And as always, thanks for watching.